He's melee attack that one. And whoever's in the vicinity also go for it. I don't know if this guy's still alive, maybe. Send you guys away. And I guess we're gonna capture. Did you say capture Wicked or Fuentes? Capture Wicked, please. All right, please just slow, slow him down, slow him down. Thank you. Why are you so fast? Look, let me look at your health. I mean, now I can't see what specifically was so great, but it's not like you had bionic legs. Jesus Christ. What a fast cunt. I guess he's got like no toes chopped off or anything. I guess maybe that's the ultimate difference here. Wolverine's hiding in his room, as I guess Wolverines do. I, I'm not going to fucking ask questions. Now, it, where did this guy go? I immediately turn around and ask a question. Nobody fucking called that. Wicked's in bed here. How's your health? Nothing immediate. As. Uh, you're going to need better health than that. I don't even think we can provide it, but sure. We'll see what we can do. Anybody else standing at guard that I have not released? I don't think so. How's Gizzle doing? Prisoner, you're down to one. I could probably recruit you from that. You're at four. You're at one. I could almost recruit you from that. Be a bit tough. Be a lot of talking, but we'll get there. Yeah, I can't believe. Sometimes I see these people absolutely go for a runner, and I can't believe how fucking fast they are. Like, it floors me. I think everybody in their caravans, respectively, is going places these two are about to cross paths. What have you guys got on you? Let me have a look at this. What have you got on you? You got thrombos? But do you have a lot of food? You do have a lot of food. I'll tell you what. I'll let you two touch and then I'll I'll steal the food and then I'll split the group. Yeah? So I don't know who I'm sending which way, but we're going to fucking send some people back. <laughs> I think foul lasagna and green were going down. So foul lasagna and green can keep going down. Um, and they can keep going down with basically the mufflows, bowls and shit. And I'll see what I need to take for, um, for food carrying for the other group. They may still require a horse or something. But yeah, they're all the thrombos that are coming up. Where are, are you seriously just a group of thrombos? Okay. I did not realize I sent a pack of thrombos out, but that's happened. Let's see. I've got... True. I am sending stuff up with the slot. I need a couple of the mufflows. Hold on. A couple of them. Like that. And we'll see how we can go with this. So what I want to take downwards is none of this. The first silver. That can go with me. And the food. Basically all of the food. And normal medical the rest of it can stay with the other group that's barely covering it i could probably steal one extra animal to go down maybe maybe one of the young ones yeah okay so that should be enough i could don't think i could spare you uh maybe I oh, know, I'm just giving it to the other group. All right, doesn't matter. I'm going in wrong order. I probably, if that's the case, I probably want one of these. Yeah, there we go. Beat it out, it's all good. Everybody stop panicking. All right, so do that. Now, my only thing is, where is, there's Lasagna's caravan. You lot are still going down, right? You guys got food, you got mufflers, fabulous. All right, nice. Oh, those ones are nearly touching too. I might see what they're up to as well in a second. Um, on the other one. You lot, you're still going upwards. Great. Now you're basically a caravan of thrombos, people, and stuff. That's good. What do you two got? You're... Yeah, you're going down, you're going up. You've got food. How far are you away? You've got nine days of food. That one's still got like 30 odd. What have you got on you though? Mostly just food. Oh, you're the mega soft cart. All right. Yeah, no, I don't really have to do anything with that. Yeah. No, I'll leave that one alone. That one's pretty much fine. I could give them the package survival meals, although they've got so much food. They have so much fucking food. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave that. Where did my caravan arrive? Just down here. Oh, bison. Um, I've got rhinos, bison, or guinea pigs. One of my guinea pigs is back. Let's get that thing killed. All right, so one of my groups has arrived down here. That'll be good. They'll get a nap, I guess. What I should do is say all these are... Yes. And now they're, they're open. Anybody could take them. Um, and let me save this. I should also do this to all the beds, actually, so people have got a fair fucking chance, because there's a lot of colonists that have moved out. Those ones I can't fuck with. These ones up here I can. You lot. Prison beds? Yes. Now not prison beds. Now everybody gets free reign of a bed. Except for whatever's fuck's going over here, but I guess that's fine. And bison revenge. I mm, Pacho. No, Pacho's fine. Rhino revenge. Oh. Uh, nah, I'd still be right. Maybe. I love how the guinea pigs are getting absolutely slaughtered too. Uh, tell you what, Byro. Can I get you to come over here? I don't want you to necessarily melee attack it, but I do need Seal to get some assistance. Seal is down. Now, my turret should hopefully work for this Byro, mate. You've got a gun. Use it. Uh, Laura, not, how about you go rescue? Oh, Byro's already done the job. Okay, it's fine. Keep going. I love how they're just like, I'm going to decimate this solar panel. Now Seal has how long? Five hours. Five hours to get to where? Quite far away. Probably at least an hour's walk away. So this is going to be interesting. Last real save was like probably back there. So I'll overwrite this one and see how that goes. Right. I love how people are literally, oh man, so many people are sleeping in the freezer. Also, what temperature are we at? Minus 22. That's doing pretty good. I have so much various meats in here. I haven't even culled my animals for this. All right. Now, where is... Oh, fuck off. I don't need a psychic drone medium. Basically, my, my entire colony here is just going to absolutely flip their tables and go nuts. So I'm trying to get to this hospital specifically, and it is a mess. I'm not sure what animals were in here last, but it was something. Um, come on, mate. You do it. Your hearing is impeccable, I must say. I need to get my people some more bionic legs. We had a, um, a series of time where I had to get, I think, 180 people, give or take, uh, a leg or an arm or a heart or a lung or a spine or whatever the fuck they required. Um whatever the medical purpose it was. Please don't go to the furthest motherfucking bed. Just about three hours. Okay. Who in the direct vicinity has medical that high? There's my corpsey, yeah. Corpsey, mate. Time to wake up. Corpsey will get it done. Even if he doesn't have enough medicals on him, like if we don't have enough like healing shit, he'll do it. He'll get it done. Tell you what though, this area could do of harvesting. Even a little bit. Legrand, can you harvest? I bet you can. Skunk, can you? No. Stainsforth? Maybe. No. Uh, Corpse is already on it. We've got a little bit of medical. Be right. They've been making some since I brought in the drug labs. <laughs> the other track drug lags on fucking uh, the other map has them. This one has been mostly buying it, but I guess it would help if this was actually set up. I had these and then I deconstructed them because I'm like, oh, I won't need them until we move. And then we started having massive losses in medical supplies and I started realizing we needed them back again. So I made them and I hadn't allocated them, obviously, since that. But I do have a heap of like nutrient somewhere, either in here or in the other one. Probably in the other one. Pretty sure it's for some in here. Yeah. There's like a thousand six hundred. We'd be right. We'll get some medicine made out of that. I'll tell you what, if I can make a little storage spot, since that's not refrigerated, where is drug labs there? Can I have 
a little storage dot like right here you need that Aussie animal mod ironically nobody's actually suggested that yet I have heard of it um oh no you don't bear um I think I think it's dangerous enough existing like I've said this before sometimes I like playing games that are like not as like I don't know I play games that are like a little more awful than like the real world um where people are like I don't know people and animals and shit are like a little worse off and shit I don't know how to say it but yeah I, I think like bringing Australia into it would be just like ugh this again um what was it it's be maybe raw resources uh I don't look for this very often maybe medicine oh wait wait yeah that that shit I want that put here and I want that removed out of here wherever the fuck that is medicine no there that get that out of there all right bear you fucking wish who have I got in the vicinity absolutely nobody in the fridge really wait slaughter that's for animals right yeah but I can't risk you taking out a panther so that ain't gonna happen who kept kangaroos to be like walking into coals grabbing some to cook up at home I actually do eat kangaroo not a lot of Australians really do um but I can't eat a lot of like normal meats and shit it makes me sick so I eat kangaroo but I actually have two characters called kangaroo so it'd be a little bit morbid um the funniest thing is I have so many people that want me to have a uh what do you call it cannibal colony so that would immediately just be like like chef's kiss to so many people I'd be like yeah just do it it'd be fine there we go I was wondering if you three would be able to do it Ludo mate before you walk off can you rescue bear I also don't let like whenever somebody's having a tantrum unless it's like a food binge or like a sad wander or um like just throwing a basic tantrum or something like that I don't let them actually carry it out so if somebody's like I'm gonna go slaughter this thing or I'm gonna go murder that person I'm like mate you're about to be in hospital and that's essentially where they end up um this map has resulted in me absolutely slapping the crap out of my colonists more than any other map I've ever had it's almost it's almost impressive in itself <laughs> like, I'm not trying to do it it's just like my people are just constantly hating being here also why are you guys taking them to something uh, I'm guessing that the outer pen is open I did open the outer pen to let the animals in but I didn't specifically let it be like you know wide open I see what the fuck this is my people have a problem with kind of like shooting the fence and so I keep getting animals going loose all right I'm not seeing I'll tell you what's probably happening is the ducks are probably going out into here and this area says ducks aren't supposed to be in here and then these are coming in here and it's saying these aren't supposed to be in there but I left this fucking open for a reason I want the animals to eat this shit. That's not going to happen. So I'm going to say don't hold it open. Whatever passes through next will do it. Visitors, huh? Um, where? Lisa and Blackwell. Mate, what have you got? Um, can I have Labia? Should be up along here. I did send some people out, so I might have shuffled the order. She could also be in a mental thing. It's Nina, Franklin. Oh man. There you are. The fuck are you? Are you in a mental state? No, you're just asleep. That's fine. Yeah, I kind of shuffled it a bit. I sent up Enge or Endo or somebody. I sent somebody from my main group up here and it pushed them back. This seahorse, maybe Dodsworth. Mm. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, we've got turrets. What is that? That's a lynx. Yeah, that ain't supposed to be there. They'll eat my cats. I have a lot of cats. I also have cats managed on this because if you don't pay attention to them, fucking hell, they breed. All right, you've got you've got 
food. You don't have a lot of money. You've got components. You've got medicine. I don't want your reinforced barrel. Get that out of my face. I don't want your tinfoil hat. Or you can have my old flak pants. That'll be good. Um, yeah, all right. So you all my old shit. What? Too much. Like fucking Simpsons. Too much. Take it back. A little less than that. Have I got something for a couple of bucks? Like six bucks. Maybe a year. Jew. Pushing it. Mm. That would do it. Although. Nah, 11 would be too much. All right, that's fucking close enough. I I could probably do. I have a now. Nah, you won't buy a bolt of fucking cloth or something. I was gonna say I could sell you a bolt of cloth if it interests. But I'll tell you what. Instead of teaching that creature something, how about? All right, don't haul the thing. Ah, right, Panther's doing it. It's fine. Yeah, so I've got like a fuck ton of animals, and a lot of them are like trained to do hauling and shit with reason. So when I've normally only got like one location like this, for instance, and I have like a fuck ton of animals that are fully trained, my people can focus on like building and constructing and cooking and whatever that only the people can do, but the animals that are taught will go out and they'll do hauling or rescuing people and stuff like that. And it saves me so much time. However, I'm aware that I've got over 500 animals um, between my two colonies and I did lose some. I lost a couple of panthers in a battle and then I accidentally slaughtered them when they arrived at the next location. But it's all right. We're getting there. I'm, I'm slowly, like, getting some more animals that are named and trained and stuff, like this location. Like, I'm waiting for this little male to reach adulthood um, before I can actually, like, get all these female panthers breeding because my people just decided to slaughter all the males when they arrived, which was kind of shit. And they were also fully trained too. So I'm bringing up a fuck ton of like mega softs, which I don't know if they've arrived yet. I don't think this is the group because they're trained. Links, I think that was here. It's fine. Where's stone up top? Oh man. Mm, Vincent Gubia. Hey Gubia, mate. Oh, uh, McPherson was on it. It's fine. McPherson can do something else. And I've got two colonists that are idle. Where? Ocelot, mate. You could be doing stuff with animals. You could be doing stuff with animals, but you're not. Have a look. See if I can find you. You should train more of your animals to be attack animals. It's good to have them helping with raids. Oh, yeah, they're fully trained for that. I normally have a fuck ton more animals. I've just lost a lot in um, some recent battles. So at the moment I've got a lot more like, uh, what do you call it? Like farm animals versus attack animals, but I've got a shit ton of them. Like it comes and goes in waves. I was just looking at that earlier. Um, can I afford that? I don't have money for this caravan, but what is on this one? Psychic shock lances. Oh man, what can I trade you for this? I've got, I've got four, this is, oh man, I don't have anything. Do I, I've got a horse. Mate, can I interest you in a horse? I have wood. I, I'll i jettison the wood. I don't care. I'll, I'll jettison the wood. How do you feel about a horse? I can't afford this. Um, hmm. I could probably get like a thing. You know what? I can take it and they will take it, but like, they'll be like, it's a negative sale. Um... I probably shouldn't fuck over my allies. Man, I want that. Hmm. I know she's not far away. Anything else at all on you that you can sell? Nothing really. I already have one. Fucking hell, they're so expensive. I guess because she's not a trader. She um doesn't speak the trade lingo. Fucking hell, that's annoying. Damn. Where are you though? You're like right near home. You're like right there. Fucking hell. I want shock lances. I've used up so many. So, so many. Where is Ocelot here? Uh, legendary work. It's fine. I'll get to that in a minute. Seal is down. Am I looking? Yeah, I'm looking at the right group. Uh, lasagna will be right. They're on the way down. Where is Ocelot here? Looking for an O. 
Come on, mate. Don't be hiding. I know you're like somewhere in here. Okay, I fucking hate trying to find him. All I'm trying to do is find Ocelot to see what I've got him allocated as. A bit slower. Come on. I know he's in this group. I already checked. Grim's in it. Nah, I can't fucking see him. I'm just having a moment. Let's see, legendary work. What did I make? A button down shirt. Nice. Alright. Um, it's a shame about the trading thingies. There's a sword right there. Alright, what the fuck was I going to do? I was going to do something. Apart from the fact that I was going to see what the fuck Ocelot can and can't do. Because people just standing around. I was going to do something else. But... God damn, I'm really having a night tonight. I can't remember the jack shit. Oh man. I'm normally like pretty good with like remembering shit, but not tonight. Um, was it something to do with here? I'll tell you what I forgot about was the blight. <laughs> That's something I forgot about. Shizuka, instead of roping a duck, can you do any of this stuff? I guess I've got to set it up to be cut. Uh, let's get this cut. All right, Shizuka, let's get you in here. Rolf, let's get you back. That uh, Linda's doing something. Let's get that cut. Get that cut. Uh, leave you two doing what you're doing over there. Or not. Come back here. Linda. Mate, come back. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of like back and forth manual shit for a minute. So just bear with me. I might even remember what I was thinking of doing before. Or not. No fucking promises. I was definitely going to do something. It was probably important. I don't know. <laughs> I will remember at like, I don't know, 6 a.m. tomorrow or some shit like that. I'll remember. And I'll be like, fuck, I can't do anything until next week. I don't know. Oh. You guys, I need you to stay here doing what you're doing. Rolf, come back, mate. If, as soon as I can get rid of this, the sooner I have this problem solved. Because I've had light three times on this colony, which is actually exceptionally low. But every single time they have just not touched anything. And I've just ended up with like full crops just wasted. And I just can't let this one go because they're all connected. So if I let it go, it's just going to ruin the entire thing. I'm a dillo, mate. You're not going anywhere. I gotta admit, some of these are a little bit easier to, like, get them to sit there. It takes them a bit longer. I don't know. As far as, like, battles go, at least it's only been, like, little shit, like, the occasional, like, prison break or, um, what else we had? Had like a couple of like caravan attacks. I think the caravan attacks have been the biggest thing I've had this week. Been a bit weird. I was honestly kind of expecting more of like a big battle because I know we got like that little attack, which is where I got my prisoners from. But I was expecting, you know, like an another alternative attack. Okay, that should be it. All gone. Light removed. Thank you. Send that back. Uh, Laws is having a sad wander. It's fine. You're in a caravan, mate. You can't go anywhere. Oh, is this group nearly home? They might be nearly home. Yeah, nice. Um, that will help. I haven't actually built anything here. My people have been making food pretty much nonstop. I don't know if we ended up... Yeah, they're all set up. They are still making things. Oh, they're even getting some of this wall done. I didn't even notice that. I've been all over the place tonight. And I didn't notice that they were working on this. As soon as this is enclosed, this little area here, I will lay down the next refrigerated zone. Silverware's in a daze. It's fine. And my caravan's arrived. Nice. Are you the caravan with the uh, with the prisoner? I'll tell you what, uh, roll. Can you go and... Uh, i tell you what, where's Weeks? It cost... Uh, Come on, Weeks. Yeah, Weeks is already on it. Uh, I might just, like, fucking leave her to that Frodo, mate. Oh, my God. Roll, come back here. 
You want to go rescue him? Yep, and shock lance. Oh, and nobody's going to come and pick up that shock lance, so I might as well ask Star if she'll do it. Force equipped it, please. Um, it's not like I'm going to take you on any particular fight. I might, because you do have a gun and you've got shooting. But which prison are you going to go to? You're going to be down here, maybe? I've got some nice prisons here. Like, I'm not to the level of, like, one of my old colonies, Hatora, yet. Where we used to have, like, basically marble and slate and granite, everything. And used to have, like, jade and gold and silver fucking statues and all sorts of shit. Like, we're not up to that point yet. And I think it's still going to be a while. Even this place, which is going to eventually become, like, a dining room space. It's eventually going to have, like, a gold floor and that's going to be pretty lol. But... Like, I still have to move a couple of these blocks over by one. I'm going to move you over and that one as well. Once they've got that enclosed, they'll do that. And once they've got, well, I guess I could get, say, tofu. What are you doing? You're cooking a vegetarian meal. Person. Mm, brick should be able to do construction, mate. Can you just remove that? I'll move the door. Okay. Because that's what I've been waiting on this whole time is I need one of you guys to move that so this little spot here can be made. And then when it gets made, everybody will use the other door. And that way I've got the freedom to move the wall over if I want to. I actually don't know how good brick is at deconstructing stuff, but I use them a lot. Cellar would have been better. Okay, that there. Not that. you. Let's say you guys aren't allowed through that door anymore. Okay. No more. You now use the other one. I was gonna say, I like, I just said no. Oh my god. Okay, who is this? Cypress's one. Um, Cypress is going up, I think. Yeah. I think Cypress is going up. Psychic soothe that. That. You got like twenty five bucks off. You got like. Arctic wolves. I've had Arctic wolves before. They're really like glorified dogs. Very pretty and they nuzzle, but they don't actually do anything else for the colony, which kind of sucks. Um, I was hoping when I got wolves that they'd be like the panthers and that, you know, get around with like all my people and stuff and it would be great. Um, but they did not. They were just basically like howling cats. Well, I mean, cats howl too, but, you know, different kind of howling cats. Let me get about 25 of this. I'll do it. Move on. Where are you? Yeah, you're definitely going up. You two are going to meet soon. Both of you have got a good amount of food. Yeah, no, I don't need to combine that one. Caravan's arrived. Oh, yeah. Um, crab and chet and mole. Well, this will be basically my pulling animals coming back and I might actually have time to send them back up before winter because I don't want to send anything out during winter at all like you can but I just don't want to have double the resources and you know half the speed it's kind of a waste so I mean if I can get them sent back out that'd be great um I'll have to wait until they get into the thing how are we going for food 21,000 pemmican Pretty good. They're still low on the package survival mills, but I do keep sending those out with people. But I should really look at sending some of the pemmican up next instead. Although, how are we going for meals? 1,600. That's still about the same. I'm guessing that's capped and they keep eating the vegetarian carnivore meals or they're not making them. One of the two. I just don't know which one it is yet. Also, we definitely look like we've got enough food for winter. For the animals for once my people um go through a stage where they decide not to feed my animals yeah you're not getting that i'll fight you another kangaroo and a llama all right what have you got Barcelona, misandrous mining construction melee that's all like meh but what have you got llama cooking i am very interested in taking cooks at the moment so, underground of neurotic pessimists. None of that's a problem. Health stuff. Yeah, none of that's a problem. 
All right. Well, either of you are fine. I could stuff yous in there quite easily by putting like one dot in a door or something like that. And we could have like, oh, that wouldn't fit two pads. We'll figure it out. Who have I got? I've got people with guns. Well, that's going to help. Let's get this set up. I could stuff them in there. Definitely. All right. Let's see. Right. Let's see who I can take. At the moment, I think if I include all my prisoners in my entire count of people, I should have, give or take, because I've taken one new prisoner tonight, I think a hundred, uh, 213 people, I think, what we should have. I have got the ability to shoot you guys, and I'm curious, let me just... Do something for a second. I want to know an outcome of if I shoot you guys versus if I hit you. If I shoot you and if I shoot you, are you going to shoot? Uh, I'm trying to get a Mega Soft to shoot. I mean, interesting, but come on. It's one shot each. Well, fuck. That guy's definitely dead. Come on, mate. Take out Lama. Mm, Chalky? Chucky was a fucking shot. What is your wire? 14. Oh. Oh, hold on. Don't go away. Mm, okay, now I gotta see. I haven't done a fucking reload all night. It's been great. But I just want to see what, what's the difference if I beat the snot out of them. Because obviously in this particular scenario, I don't get hurt at all. In an alternative scenario where I beat the snot out of them, I potentially down them, and potentially take home some juicy, juicy prisoners... Um, that could be different. Although I could also get hurt, so there is that. Obviously, there's always a risk when you're fucking fighting somebody that you can get hurt. Oh yeah, there's the um mods that I've got as well. Harmony and Hugslib um, are the other ones I've got, which are both basically compatibility ones, realistically. Not like three to four. If I could get